<laughs> Big Tractor Power attended the How Farms Work Farm Day on June 23, 2018 in Potosi, Wisconsin, and it was exciting to visit with the Kister family and see their family farm and all the farm equipment that are featured in Ryan's How Farms Work YouTube channel videos. Big Tractor Power did a live stream featuring all the farm equipment on display at the farm. And in addition to seeing all the tractors, combines, and other machines used on the family farm, there were tractor rides around the home place where you could actually tour the How Farms Work farm. And Big Tractor Power had a great chance to do this tour with Travis Kister, and that video is on Big Tractor Power YouTube as well. There were also all kinds of door prizes from How Farms Work, there were several items, and what you would do is put your ticket in the box of the merchandise that you hope to win, and then it would be drawn out. Travis from the rest of the story had merchandise, and Big Tractor Power donated some hats, as well as some collectible Toy Tractor Times tractors from our Toy Tractor Times YouTube channel. And all these prizes were given out throughout the day, and let's take a look at some of those being given out right now. Brian Eves. Brian Eves. Got one? We got one. All right, there he is. <laughs> That's good. Ryan Kister, the creator and host of How Farms Work YouTube, was on hand. He visited with fans and talked about his channel, signed autographs, and there were all sorts of people lined up to have a chance to talk with Ryan and ask questions. And it's great to see Ryan's channel has grown to over 150,000 fans. There were other YouTube creators on hand, like the One Lonely Farmer, who has over 100,000 fans on YouTube as well. And he visited with many of his fans throughout the day and answering questions. Big Tractor Power talked with a lot of YouTubers at this event, and many are well known on YouTube, and others are just getting started. And over the next 20 minutes, I want to share some of my interviews with all the YouTube people that were at the How Farms Workday. And I hope that you'll give it a chance to see some of the well-known people that you may already be watching and also some of the people just getting started out. And at the very end of the video, I have an interview with Ryan from How Farms Work. We're here at the How Farms Work Farm Day and Cotton Top is here. He's got a great YouTube channel. It's all about forestry and logging equipment and I enjoy watching it because you know I'm always out with John Deere tractors in the field but you're out there with uh, John Deere forestry products and other other machines and that's a pretty neat livelihood. Exactly. It's uh, I tell people all the time logging is kind of more of a closed arena. It's not like a football game or bas basketball game or something where you can buy a ticket and go to it. And we run some really cool machines, big, heavy machines. Our heaviest one weighs in at 90,000 pounds, and we specialize in cutting in really steep ground. So we have machinery set up just to run in that steep ground. And, and so I just provide a window of opportunity for people, you know, everybody else to, uh, to watch my stuff and, and follow along and see those equipment. It's, it's just like you doing the big combines and the big tractors like that. We run the big logging equipment, and uh, it's just, it's kind of like the swamp loggers that you watched on TV. Right. And I give a daily dose of that along with a lot of other stuff. I think that's the great thing about YouTube is that you get to get right into something you might be interested right. in. You know, I, I have, I collect a lot of farm equipment literature. I have old International Harvester logging brochures and John Deere, but other than a picture, I don't know anything about it. So to actually climb in the cab with you and see it working is, right. is neat. And the other neat thing is, is, is your stuff, big tractor power, uh, showcases the tractors and all that stuff like that. And we have a lot of farming that goes on in our area in, in Mississippi there. And so I have a lot of friends who are farmers, so I've got a whole playlist of tractor videos, stuff like that now. A lot of our stuff ain't nowhere near as big. Well, as some actually, of I, I watched one of your videos over the winter. You went out and saw a Kayside Steiger on a scraper pan, yeah. and that, that was pretty cool. That was a hoss of a tractor. Yeah, that's right a big there. one. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a big one. And uh, I missed getting to see it run. It was just up the road building a, a lake levee that was like 50-something feet tall, and they moved just an incredible amount of dirt with that thing. And so we have some big stuff there, cool pans like that, but I try to always catch the guys harvesting and doing things like that and getting the tractor with them and riding to give something different. And then, of 
horse on my end. I've got a smaller John Deere tractor. Though. I was going to say, I think I saw on Instagram. Did you just, just get that tractor? Yeah, or? this guy is just a little over a year old, a 5075E. So it's more like somebody, a homeowner or something would have, you know, right. when I'm doing stuff like they would do. And uh, that's been a big deal, uh, those videos right there. You can go through and look at them. They get an incredible amount of views on them. I get. I ask a lot about doing that, so I try to include it in on doing doing all my stuff, you know, using it and working it with bush hogs and stuff like that. So, but it's pretty cool. It's cool to be here with you to finally meet you. Sure. Well, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've seen you go out to New Jersey to see Wes's place, and you were up here last year. Yeah, because uh, you it's, missed uh, this last year because of the century. Yes, yep. I went to half century. And, yeah, uh, because they fell right there about the same time. They did. Because we uh, talked, I think, right after yep. that. And uh, so that's pretty, that's, that's very neat. So I appreciate you stopping by. And, well, yeah, I, I'm a subscriber to your channel, and I, I really encourage people to check it out because it's a um, different part of John Deere's product line, and it, right. it's neat stuff. Right, I appreciate that. Well, can we get a later tater? Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> I always end all my videos. We'll catch y'all later. Later taters. We're here at the How Farms Work Farm Day with What the Farm Girl, who has got a great YouTube channel. Can you tell us a little bit about your channel? Um, it's basically my adventures running our... Um, built from scratch family farm. Uh, we started five years ago with just a vacant piece of property and so most of the farming is done by me because Eric works full time and then he comes home in the evening sometimes and helps out. So it's kind of more of a smattering of crazy adventures that just happen to pop up while I'm working on stuff. Like the baler breaks and I have to figure out how to fix it or shooting the possum that's terrorizing all my chickens and eating them. Um, it's just a barrage of all sorts of crazy adventures. Well, we got the tractors, but sure. then we also have like the farm shenanigans and well, it's, I mean, it's really neat because, I mean, I think a lot of people that are watching farming channels on YouTube are not farmers and they'd like to. So I think you've got a great story in that you started from scratch, moved from the suburbs and started a farm. So that that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd say probably about 50% of my subs farm and 50% don't. So um, I just try to keep it a little more engaging for everybody. So for me on my channel, I find that explaining my equipment and how it works a little bit more helps the people that don't farm. Because when I watch channels like yours and I see new equipment, for me, I like hearing about what it can do, how it operates, and why it's being used. And some people don't always do that when they're doing videos, and I'm left wondering, what is this cool thing? I have sure, no idea I, what that is. I used to be very guilty of that with the Big Tractor Power Channel. I just assumed everybody knew this was the coolest new thing, or there were only three of this old tractor made, and you should know it's awesome. But yeah. it, it definitely it definitely helps to explain right, what's happening. Right, right. Yep. So. And uh, I know Big Tractor Power from my son, who's been watching him since he was three, and he thought, and this was before you started explaining your videos, so he would just watch your, you know, tractor driving videos sure. and he thought it was the coolest thing ever. Well, I'm glad that young fans are the best. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I'm really glad that people enjoy that because, you know, when I was that age, I just loved watching tractors out in the front yard working in the field across the road. So I, I love that I get to get out there and see them. Exactly. And you get to experience it. So so where where can people find you on YouTube? Or? Um, it's under WT Farm Space Girl. Okay. And um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And, um, yeah. So you can look me up. You can also look me up under Farm Girl or WTFG is another acronym. So pretty much all those things, you'll find me. Sounds good. It's a great channel to check out. And Thank you. Congratulations on getting to live a dream of uh, farming. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Take care. Yeah. We're here with Kelvin at the How Farms Workday, and Kelvin has come from Southwest Ontario all the way down to Wisconsin. Kelvin, now you've got a you've got a YouTube channel. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Um, yeah, my YouTube channel is Ontario Ag Guy. I just like uh, I just I'll take video of our farm um, when we're out doing field work. You know, just uh, maybe sometimes like this um, down here today in Wisconsin. So sometimes I'll do a little something different. But normally it's just uh, YouTube video. So what, so what kind of equipment do you have on your farm? Or uh... Uh, We have a John Deere 4850. Um, Very nice. We have a John Deere 4640. Um, we have a McCormick MC105 and a John Deere 9400. And we actually have a Farmall 100 and a uh, Farmall BN. 
That tractor is, uh, that one needs a restore though. That's my grandfather's tractor, or great grandfather's tractor. That one needs to be uh, restored though. Well, that's really nice. Well, I'll tell you what, a 4850 is something I have not filmed for big tractor power. So if I'm ever up your way, I'd like to, and a 4640, those are both great sound guards. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kelvin, thanks for visiting with us. And tell us again, what's your channel? Um, it's Ontario Egg Guy. So. All right, I will check it out and subscribe. Sweet. Thanks a lot. We're here with Hunter and Lucas uh, at How Farms Works Farm Day. Uh, Hunter, uh, you guys um, are from the St. Louis area and you've got a YouTube channel. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Or? Uh, yeah, it's my grandpa's farm. We originally, my people, we moved there back in mid 80s or so, early 80s. We run about 500 total acres of corn, wheat, and soybeans, a little bit of clover hay. And we run mainly John Deere equipment and we have three Farm All International tractors. Nice one. So what's your big John Deere on the farm? The John Deere 7810. Uh, that's a great tractor. That's, uh, that's a modern day classic right after the 4960, I think. Yeah, it's got 175 horse. We use it a lot on the farm. It does a lot of tillage and plants, beans. In the grain cart? Yeah. It's what? tight. It's it's tied up a lot, so we have to use a 4440 on some stuff. Hey, that's my one of my favorite John Deere's, the 4440. I, I just, agree with you I like that. those uh, double mall numbers where it's two numbers in the middle, like the 4555 and yeah. stuff like that. So, what do you guys run for a combine? Yeah, we, well, for beans, we, we run a 9410 okay. combine, and for corn, we run a uh, 9400. Nice. I, I like those smaller combines because they're, I'd actually like to film one because they're a little bit harder to find. A lot of people always had the 95s and yeah, that's pretty cool. So do you have a four row corn head or a six yeah, row? Four row, nice. six inch corn row. Yeah. That's great. Well, so how do you guys have a YouTube channel? Is it Sunset View Farms, I guess, yep. from your t-shirts? Yeah, that's the name of the farm too. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to be checking it out and subscribing, and I hope uh, some of our big tractor power viewers will check it out, too. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. We're here with Ethan Dagnitz, who has a YouTube channel. Uh, Ethan's here at the Hal Farms Work uh, Day, and you won one of our Toy Tractor Times, Oliver 1950, so congratulations. That was pretty cool. Thank you. Ethan, why don't you tell us about your YouTube channel? Um, I'm based out of southwest Wisconsin. I'm right by Lake Michigan, so I'm the opposite side here, Ryan. Um, we got, we're a small operation looking to grow towards the end of this year. We raise uh, bull calves to um, sellable weight at 250 pounds. We also got uh, hogs and chickens that we do. We're based on, our farm started back in 1852 with my... Wow, grade. that's a long history. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and it's just slowly built from there and um, kind of been little low right now money's kind of tight but um, everything's just been going good though so I'm the eighth generation farmer looking to keep going with the farm hopefully expand the acres expand the farm so what's the what's the big tractor on your farm right now it's an MX 135 very that's nice be, um, going out the door um, so hopefully I could be the one to buy the next big tractor and, so what would your money no object what would you what was your, what's your dream tractor to uh, farm with mine would be a 7130 magnum rear duels mechanical front wheel drive with full rack weights on the front that'd be pretty cool yeah any any year they're all been all great tractors they got a great transmission great power that's good. So, uh, how do we? How do people find you on YouTube? What's your What's your channel? My YouTube channel is uh, Working on Farms, or you can type in www.youtube.com forward slash Working on Farms. I got my I got that custom URL URL are done, and so easy that way. That's great. Well, I will check it out and subscribe, and I hope other people will too. All right. Thanks. We're here with Nick uh, from Racine, Wisconsin, home of Case IH and yep. JI Case before that. Uh, great area of the country for tractors. Uh, now, do you have a YouTube channel? I do. It is uh, The Barn Life. Okay. I only have five videos because I just started it a couple months ago, but uh, working on expanding it. So That's great. Well, I'll, I'll check, check it out, out and subscribe. Yep. So what do you what have you filmed so far? What do you have on there? A um, couple videos of spring tillage this year. Um, Feeding the steers last year, I did a couple videos on that. Um, 
not much else besides that. We got some older tractors and we don't run that many acres. So JIK's 1030. Um, Very nice. That's a tractor I need to film too. I'd love to see some of those Comfort Kings. Although it's not running at the moment because <laughs> it needs to get the high range of the transmission replaced, but we have an Alex Chalmers 190 XT. That's a great classic. And Ford 5000, those are our three main tractors. So, yep. That's good. So the barn life on YouTube, we'll check it out and hopefully get you a few more subscribers. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, we're here with Lane, who has a YouTube channel. Lane, you specialize in John Deere two-cylinder tractors? Yes, I tried to. Tried to. I got a, I'm the two-cylinder farmer on YouTube. My, I got a couple, couple two-cylinder tractors, and I also do filming about my family's farming operation out there in Minnesota. That's great. Well, I, I tell you, I really have always liked the, the two-cylinders, especially the 730s and the 720s, that yellow side panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just have a, a unique sound all to themselves. And it is, it's my, my favorite sound in the world. I could listen to it all day. I even managed to find a ringtone for my phone that has the, the two-cylinder sound. So everybody, oh, that's awesome. So whenever it's going off and everyone around my friends is like, oh, Lane's getting a call. <laughs> That is that is really cool. So, where can, is that an app that you can get, or how do you get a two-cylinder uh, ringtone? I found it under the app Zedge. Okay. And I just typed in John. I think it was John Deere, John Deere two-cylinder, and that's what happened. The king come up. So I'm like, I gotta have that as my ringtone. That is awesome. Well, thank you. And again, how can we find your YouTube channel? Look for Two Cylinder Farmer. All right. I will check it out and subscribe. All right. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Lane. We're here with Doug Jones at the How Farms Work Farm Day. Uh, Doug has a YouTube channel, Doug Jones, focus on farming, and uh, you're from Michigan? Yep, yep. So tell us a little bit about your channel. Um, it's a channel mostly uh, for family and friends. Uh, my mom, uh, my dad, and, uh, um, and for uh, posting something, I just started posting uh, at least one video every day just after I attended this event uh, last year. Uh, or last August um, as just sort of a, uh, a personal uh, daily achieve, you know, goal to uh, sort of feel like I did something because I had a lot of old footage. Uh, let's, let's start posting and not be so picky about it, even, even if it's unwatchable. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, 365 days a year, that's a, that's a lot of video content to get out. Yeah, it's, yeah, it can be, it be, can be tiring, but it also uh, feels, uh, uh, therapeutic. So. Sure, and you were telling me you got to go out in the field this year and uh, riding a tractor and while I was planting it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My first real tractor ride. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, the videos coming up to and in that video and stuff, I, I was I was trying to do the uh, big tractor car voice. You know, here we are in the uh, John Deere, you know, whatever tractor. Not doing a very good job. But, <laughs> you know, it was uh, very cool to uh, meet you uh, and uh, put a face to the name. Sure. Well, I mean, it's been great to be out here today and meet so many other fellow YouTubers and yeah. just to uh, learn about everybody's channels and um, yeah. hopefully caught everybody and get to share it on Big Tractor Power and yeah. give out a few shout outs. All right. All right. Thanks, Doug. Right. We're here with Travis Kister at the How Farms Work Farm Day. Travis has his own YouTube channel called The Rest of the Story, where people get to see other happenings and things that are going on here at the farm and Wisconsin. Uh, Travis, thanks a lot for spending a little time with us. Can yeah, you tell no us a little bit about your channel? Well, as you say, my channel is the rest of the story. Uh, it's independent from how farms work, while it uh, also kind of plays into it because, well, most people are aware of my channel, my brother's channel. It's the high quality. It, it's it's a really good quality stuff. But the problem is, is that it doesn't necessarily show the the background of what it's taking to get to where Ryan's videos are and what's going on. Um, this is, my channel is a lot more down to earth, a lot more, you know, eye level, I guess. Um, you really don't get a level of, a, a different level of the farm that maybe isn't showing on the other channel. So I, it seems to be going very well. People really seem to appreciate it, especially after all the positive feedback I got today from it. So, I mean, at least the channel's still growing. It's better than, going sideways so. no I, I enjoy watching it and seeing all the equipment here on the farm and you just kind of get up and go and yeah. do your work I don't know I'll, it's fun if it wasn't fun there's really not much point in doing it so that plays a lot into it too if you're certainly doing it just to say that you do it
We're here at the How Farms Workday with One Lonely Farmer and Wes. So it's been great to see you out here. You've had a big crowd today. And I uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about your channel and then also got a new piece of uh, farm equipment on your trip out to Wisconsin with a stop in Iowa. And so uh, tell us a little bit about your channel and what you do in New Jersey. Yeah, so well, I farm mulch hay in New Jersey. Uh, used to grow corn and soybeans, milk cows, and other, other agricultural activities, wheat, rye, barley. Uh, and now I just grow mulch hay for the mushroom industry in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. So uh, that's, well, that's what It's neat do. to see your channel. You've got big hay mowers, big baler, big John Deere tractors, mowing, raking, and uh, just seeing your crone big baler is impressive to see how much you can turn out very quickly. Yeah, the crone, the crone big baler has been a great improvement in the operation. Uh, I, I was New Holland. Uh, big balers and you know it's I'm not gonna say anything bad about New Holland but I sure I'm glad I have the chrome baler nowadays it really works well uh, and you know it, it packs a tighter bale it runs faster it, it's more reliable and it's just a, a great addition to the to the farm we're here with Ryan we've had a great day at the How Farms Work Farm Day. Thanks for putting on this, Ryan. I know it's a lot of work for you and your family to open up your farm this way. It's been a very busy week. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing, I saw your, uh, is it uh, Tyson, Tyson's? Uh, Tyson's, yep, which yep. Tyson's. I drove by there this morning, so oh, really? it, was a, it was a neat video. Oh yeah. But great, great supplies from there, and uh, so what's your thoughts on the, lots of good people out? And Today? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a pretty good turnout. Um, everything went really smoothly. There weren't any major problems. Um, the jury's still out whether we're going to have one next year. Um, if we don't have another one next year, I'm still thinking we might do like offer like rides to the pasture and stuff just to kind of show people like how beautiful it is. Because we do have a lot of pasture ground that I think people would really enjoy to go for go on trips through and just kind of see. It. It's beautiful just staying out here from your, the back of your farm looking out at all the, the corn and the hay and the rolling hills. It's a beautiful right. area. Yeah, they even got a new bale spears down there for our bobcat. <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah. Oh, it was great to see all the equipment. I uh, walked around and filmed it all and met a lot of YouTubers, a lot of up and coming people and great to have uh, some more famous YouTubers here at the, the event as well. Oh yeah. Good place to meet people. Very good, yep. So, and I just want to say behind you, there's somebody I haven't interviewed before. We've got Rocket hiding uh, back here. Looks like he's um, had his fill of the day. Yeah, the uh, back of the truck is his safe haven. It's a place where he always goes to just kind of relax and, as you can tell, sleep. It's probably way warmer in there, but sure, I can't keep him out of there. So, Well, he looks, uh, he looks pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I should just get his dog bed and put it back in there. <laughs> So uh, what what are your plans for your channel? It looks like everything is going great. You're up to over 150,000 subscribers now. It just keeps on growing. Well, my current plan is, as far as subscribers go, I think my next Rewind video is going to come out around 200,000 subscribers. Um, haven't started working on it yet. I have a couple song ideas. Um, I have my big cinema camera now, so I'm probably going to start shooting, shooting some film for it. And maybe this winter, once we start getting hopefully closer up there. I'm not totally sure. We get we get about 50,000 subscribers a year. Uh, about this time last year, we were just just reaching 100,000. So yeah, I remember last June you were at the summer show in uh, Dyer's, where you were at 90,000, and yep. you've just been trucking on since then. That, it's oh, just yeah. wonderful that they have that many people involved and Steady they get to see about. see the see what farming is about, especially on the yep. you know family farm scale of things. Oh, yeah, it's I I really enjoy doing it. So uh, even if I don't know, subscribers start to stall out and we just stick around 200,000 as long as people continue to enjoy the videos. I'm going to keep doing it because that's what I love to do. So. Well, I think you'll I think you'll grow beyond 200,000. You've got a lot of great stuff to see and I think over share. time I will, for sure. But it's just a long road to hoe. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for everything you're doing for agriculture and sharing this with all of us. And uh, yeah. really enjoyed uh, meeting a lot of people up here and your family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming in coming up to the show and seeing the farm in person. Yeah, yeah my, my dream is one time I want to catch one of these tractors actually out in the field so I have to <laughs> swing through at the right time to catch well, them at work. You never know if you are. I mean, we are out in the field a good number of days out of the year, so. Sounds good. Well, I'll, I'll try to catch you one time. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan. Yep, thanks.